Hi guys, Misha here. I am so stupid excited about this video. I'm doing an unboxing of the uh, Nintendo Switch as well as the Pro Controller and the Zelda Breath of the Wild Special Edition. I picked all these up at the midnight launch last night at uh, a Walmart around here. I called a lot of places. People were already waiting at like GameStops and Best Buys at 1 p.m. Um, it was crazy and I just kind of called the right places and picked the right one to go to and I was second in line and we were able to take our number and come back while well, I came back later at about 10 o'clock. My boyfriend had to go to bed. He had to wake up super early this morning for work. Um, but picked this up. So stoked about it. Um, and I'm just gonna do an unboxing video with you. So I know most unboxing videos are more of like a top down sort of view, kind of getting a close up of everything. But I thought that this would be more fun to just sit and chill out and unbox everything together along with Margo who will undoubtedly be getting into everything as I'm <laughs> unboxing. She loves boxes and paper, so she will probably be, um, yeah, laying all over all of this. So the Switch box is what I'm going to get into first. Um, it's very sleek but colorful. It has like the tablet on this side and then the docked uh, tablet and the Joy-Con docked here. Each side has different images of the Switch and it's different kind of forms of play with the controllers out and tabletop mode, all that sort of stuff. All right, so there's just a little tab to open down here. Oh, I'm so excited. I was so nervous that we weren't gonna be able to get a Switch. I was afraid there were gonna be like 30 people up there already. Hold on, this way, there we go. Oh, there it is. So you open it up and there's the Switch. I don't need to hold it up that high, I don't think. Um, you got the tablet and the Joy-Cons in there, wrapped in plastic. It comes out very easily. And then in the bottom here, there's a bunch more cords and accessories and, and all that. But I'll get into that in a second. Let's look at the actual switch. Um, okay, so the tablet here, so that comes out really easily. There's a nice little place for your finger to go. Oh, it's so, it's so light. It's lighter than I thought it would be. Wow, okay, so it's just a very nice, sleek, black screen on the front says Nintendo Switch on the back and has the little kickstand right here. Yeah, just have to get your nail under it. You could pop that out and just set it on things. Play in tabletop mode, lovely. I'm not gonna go over every single little aspect of the Switch because there are lots of videos that are doing that. Um, you know, the game card goes in up at the top here. Reminds me of the SD card. Uh, slot for like the 3DS's, volume, power, um, charging port down here, and of course the Joy-Cons dock on the sides. And then the Joy-Cons are over here in their plastic as well. I got the gray version. Um, they did have the neon red and blue, but I'm just not a fan of bright neon colors, so I just got the classic gray. I'll probably end up getting some like skins for them, you know, that just like basically stickers that you can stick on, but um, I'm happy with, with the classic gray. This looks so nice, it's so sleek. Let me see if I can, I think I just have to slide, yeah, it has little arrows here to show you that you just need to slide them onto the side and they just click in place, so nice. Yeah, so here is the full tablet with the Joy-Cons attached. Cannot wait to play some games on this. Oh, awesome, okay. So let me, I'm just gonna throw packaging over there. Uh, and now in the rest of the box, start from the left here. Margo's already going to inspect the cardboard that I just threw over there. Got an HDMI cord. Classic, simple, love it, need it. Okay, good. So it does come with a uh, an AC cord, like a charger cord. So if you're taking the tablet on the go, you can charge it. It's a really big, or is this just the power? 
This might just be the power. Nope, it plugs into the tablet. Okay, cool. Maybe it's both the power cord for the dock and the charger. I don't know. All right, so there's that. And then, okay, in the very middle of the box is the Joy-Con um, dock, I suppose, um, for when you're playing it on the TV. So, hmm, how do I... Oh, okay, cool. So there's just a little button on the back of the Joy-Con that you press in order to slide it off of the tablet. And then, oh, I love that click. It's so satisfying, just very easily slides into the controller here. And that looks so nice as well. It's kind of small, but it fits well in your hands. I think it also comes with an extender as well. There's, oh, okay. This is a wrist strap for the Joy-Con and it has these little buttons on here that connect with the little trigger buttons on the side. So you can still use them when you have the wrist strap on. Oh, here's the other wrist strap in here. Just nice black classic. And then the only things left in the box, we've got our little instruction safety guide there. And this is probably the, yeah, it is the dock. It's wrapped in some nice, some nice bubble wrap, keeping it safe. Slides out nice and easy. This is, it's, this is just all so sleek and very, very lightweight. Um, so here's the dock, has the nice switch symbol on the front, and then it just has the classic Nintendo uh, logo on the back. I know that, pretty sure, okay, yeah, this back here opens up. Um, we've got the AC, the AC adapter port, the USB port, and the HDMI out port down there. I don't know what that slot right there is, probably. I don't know. Nothing or to air it out. I don't know. Okay, so let me just dock it here. See, hopefully it just, yeah, slides in down in there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If that was even the proper way to slide it in there, I believe so. Yeah, 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 it is. Okay. <laughs> it's got these little indications down at the bottom. Yeah, it just docks in there so, so easily. Doesn't slide out, which is nice. I feel, still feel like I need to guard it. I wonder if it'll... Okay, yeah, if you turn it upside down, it will fall out. <laughs> um, but still, it's in there pretty well. Oh, it is, it's so incredibly lightweight. I, I can't believe how, how small and lightweight it is. It's awesome. <laughs> okay, gonna move on to the Pro Controller here. Pro Controller is so ridiculously overpriced. It's $70. Um, and I really was not a fan of paying <laughs> that much for it. But um, I did want to get a second controller and I, mean, I just really wanted to try the Pro Controller and I wanted to get a second controller anyway, so I <coughs> knew that these had sold out a lot of places, so went ahead, picked one up. Um, packaging, pretty, pretty standard, just follows the, the theme of the, the Switch packaging. Inside, you can see that there, pull that little piece out, and then what's this? comes with a cord, a charger cord, um, to connect it to the switch and yeah, it's just a USB cord here and it shows you on the back of the box to, you have to plug um, the Pro Controller into the dock in order to charge it. So 
here is the actual Pro Controller. It's got its nice little plastic right there. I love peeling this plastic off of, off of things. Oh, this looks so nice. Wow, the buttons on it are, the ABXY buttons on it are really big. Um, it also feels very sleek, um, feels smaller than, no, I mean, it doesn't feel smaller than a PS4 controller, but it feels different, definitely different. Um, so you can see it there. It's got kind of like a semi-transparent uh, front on it to where you can sort of see some of the components inside if you shine a light on it. I can barely, barely see the board in there in the back of it is a little transparent as well. Um, you can see here it's just got the two uh, joysticks, analog sticks, whatever you call those, um, the D-pad, the ABXY buttons, we've got the plus and minus buttons here, the home button right here, and uh, the I think it's the record or capture button right here so you can either take screenshots or uh, eventually we'll be able to record gameplay videos and then um, there are the bumpers right and left bumpers and the right and left triggers back here I like this I like this controller a lot I don't know if I'm gonna be using this or the Joy-Con more I'm just gonna have to experiment with both and find out now for the Zelda Breath of the Wild special edition and can we just I'm just gonna scoot up here a little bit <laughs> Can we appreciate this box? Oh my god, it just says Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Special Edition. Has, you know, the kind of old decayed master sword there. And that art, oh my god, that is just so gorgeous. And the back of it is gorgeous too. It has a lot of different screenshots from the game. It says, answer the call. The shadow of the calamity Ganon rises over the ashes of Hyrule. Craft your survival. Defend the legend you that there. The box feels very, I don't know, the box is a cool texture. I like it. It's very smooth. Um, and it shows everything it comes with down here, which I'll walk you through when I unbox it. Um, and it's compatible. Oh, use compatible amiibo figures for helpful boosts on your adventure, um, says down there. They did have some amiibos at Walmart to sell um, But it's just not I've never been big on getting getting amiibos. I have a few um, But I might get them eventually especially if it looks like they really will help the game and give some I don't know nice improvements All right Already here There's Some sort of blue sort of blue. Oh, wow. All right. Okay, so this is part of what's in the box here. We've got the actual game. I've got the map all rolled up here. I'm so glad they rolled up that map. Okay, so first of all, here is um, the Breath of the Wild game, the actual game. Um, this is also very sleek and small and lightweight. I know that the actual game is only a small cartridge, kind of like an SD card. Let me get in here real quick and we'll just, we'll see. We'll look at it. Like that art of that, that monster on the back there. That's really cool. All right, you open it up and it's such a huge case for such a small little cartridge that is a teensy tiny cartridge but that art in there is really cool cartridge pops out really nicely looks like so has a little map of hyrule on the uh in the background of the cartridge awesome oh, so excited then here is the breath of the wild sound selection i believe it comes with 24 different tracks on there Still more gorgeous Zelda art or Link art. And this special collector's coin. I can take it out of its little 
packaging? Maybe? How? How does one get this out of the packaging? Okay, I cannot figure out how to get this stupid coin out of this packaging. I will uh, figure that out, but you can still see all of it. I can't remember what that eye is called, but that eye um, right there. And then the Zelda Breath of the Wild Z uh, with the Decay Master Sword and that little flower popping off of the Z. It's a really good weight too. I can tell that the coin is a good weight <laughs> on top of the plastic. I don't know why I can't get that out. But then here is the Hyrule map. I'm so glad it's rolled and not like folded. Ooh, the texture is nice. It feels, oh my God, this looks so cool. Wow, okay, so it's like a very ancient looking, um, old Hyrule map basically. It's a little smaller than I thought it would be, but that's okay. Um, it still looks really, really cool. It has a very nice old texture to it, but it's very thick still, and I can tell it's gonna be really durable. I don't know how much, I can't really see what's on the camera right now, so I don't know how well you're seeing that, but oh, it looks awesome. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but it's gonna look nice wherever it is. Okay, and then the other thing that comes with the collector's edition oh, is this carrying case. Oh my goodness. So it's a carrying case for the tablet, not like the whole console. Um, oh, this is so high quality. HQ. It's got this little handle right here. This zipper is really, really cool. Looks like the coin that I got. And you just open it up. Oh boy. This is good. This is nice. So inside we've got a nice little pocket over here for cords or accessories or whatever you want to put in there. Um, this little flap in the middle holds um, one, two, three, four, twelve game cartridges. Okay, there's a little sticker that says earbuds and accessories. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> um, but then there's a, there's a little flab that looks like it holds a stylus right here, I suppose. Um, and then this side has this Velcro strap here to strap in your Switch tablets. Let's just try it out. Take it out of the dock. And... Okay, let me put the Joy-Cons on it and then put it in here. Excuse me, there we go. Joy-Cons come off of that, that dock really, really smoothly. Okay. Put it all together now, and fits like a glove, you guys. Oh, looks so nice in here. Be able to keep everything, everything you want, everything you need, nice and protected in this carrying case. I'm so excited I was able to get my hands on this. I was worried all the special additions would be sold out and I wouldn't get to get it, but oh, so happy. I was about to end the video, but let's actually open up the uh, soundtrack CD. I want to see what, what the inside of it looks like, if it comes with any sort of art in there. I'm sure there is some really pretty art to see. Okay, so open it up. Nice. Let me t I'm, gonna I'm trying to turn the disc so it's actually facing the right way, but that is the inside of the case, the disc there. It has, I'll read it to you here, um, the main theme, the field, the the field day um, song, the battle song for the field, shrine, battle, 
parentheses shrine, writing parentheses day, writing parentheses night, the temple of time, guardian battle, talus battle, Hinux battle, sorry I'm probably mispronouncing some of these things, stables, Cass's theme, Kakariko, Kakariko, sorry I don't know how to pronounce that village, but the day and night theme, Rito village, day and night, Goron city, day and night, Zora's domain, day and night, Gerudo town, day and night, and the main theme. And it says live in parentheses. Hmm, cool. Man, I'm excited to uh, pop this in and listen to it when I'm just like cleaning or hanging out or playing other games. Ah, oh, so cool. All right guys, that's it for my unboxing video. Oh, this is so exciting. I've got so many new toys to play with. Uh, I'm going to get this unboxing video uploaded and then record some Zelda Breath of the Wild, hopefully as long as the recording setup goes as planned. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I'll be doing my Breath of the Wild series until I beat Breath of the Wild and maybe even some more after that just to explore um, and see what all there is offered. Margo's trying to get into the special edition box. No, too small for Kitty. All right, um, if you're gonna follow my other social media, links are in the description box. Let me know if you picked up a Switch and what games you got for it, uh, or what games you're planning on getting for it. Oh my god, she is getting in the box. I cannot believe this. I'm gonna take pictures of this. Y'all have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another, and don't forget to be awesome. Bye.